Hey, this is Pastor Aaron Gervais with Faith Walk Ministries and another Bible review. Um, got this uh, sometime and uh, a lot of people want to know what the church Bible publishers, mid-sized Thompson chain reference in Iron Caskin looks like uh, before they may purchase it. I'm going to let you know. First of all, <laughs> it's excellent. Um, just to let you see some of the things about the Bible itself. Um, you're going to get the same quality if you have like a classic red letter, Schofield, or one of the uh, other church Bible publishers. You're going to see the exact same quality. You're not going to see anything skipped whatsoever. So if you're one that loves the Thompson Chain reference Bible like I do, but also love the quality of church Bible publishers, this is going to be perfect for you. Once again... It is iron calfskin. It has a very nice grain. I love that they, some places they iron them so much it's just slick. I do not like that. I like to see some grain in it. This is beautiful. It has embossed a holy Bible right there. It does have stitching all around. It also has a, a tooling line. So for extra good looks. Let's show the uh, spine here. Of course, you have Holy Bible, Red Letter, Authorized King James, Church Bible Publishers. It does have your race hubs right there. You look at this Bible and you realize it is beautiful. It's a beautiful Bible. It does have, once again, tooling and stitching all the way through the other side. It comes in, uh, like I said, uh, different colors as well, but I'm, I just love the black. Uh, so again, open it up, iron cast again. Some people, you know, they're gonna roll it up. You can see videos of them rolling it up. I'm, once again, a little bit more particular about my Bible, so I don't roll it up, but although you can, and just lace back black, iron cast again. It does uh, line to the edge, leather lined. Uh, so you do have that protective page. See right there, so it goes all the way up. Once again, uh, do not pull that apart. You don't want to pull it apart. Um, anyway, so let's just take a look here. So let's go ahead, and if you want to see the model number, let me get that for you. you order it. it. Does have a little bit more? It seems uh, some pages in the front. Uh, so you can write your notes, and I do write a, a lot of notes in my Bibles. But this is churchbiblepublishers.com. It's the item number 365RLC1BK. Uh, so if you want to order that from Church Bible Publishers, once again, it is the mid-size Thompson Chain reference. It is the fifth improved edition. Once again, King James Version. All right, you're going to see it's going to be the same text block as all your other uh, Thompson Chain Reference Bibles from Kirkbride, which if you're a Thompson fan, you're going to love it because uh, you're already going to know where everything sits. Like I know John 3.16 is going to sit right here. Uh, John 3.16. Uh, and so, you know your Thompsons when you... Uh, open up, you know exactly where something's going to land, and so it's the same text block. Um, unless now uh, the pages are still very smooth, but unless Kurt Bride changed uh, the paper locks, I don't know if they we have the same text block, and I haven't got into it. If uh, you know it, they print them different, but I like the I like the pages. It's still very smooth. Um, the red letters are still. Very nice. So, and once done, it does have uh, two regular uh, ribbons. I always place three more in my Bibles. I don't tear apart the banding and put it in there because, well, I just, when I get a Bible, I don't try to tear anything apart and mess with them. But it does come with two ribbons. And you see one there, one there. And then I just add another one, uh, three more in there. I just kind of uh, place them in there. It lays flat. Of course, it is uh, Smith sewn, so it lays flat. So when you're preaching out of it, teaching out of it, studying, it's going to lay flat all the way back from Genesis. You don't have to worry about that. 
those can ears. I mean, there's Genesis. That's laying flat. Uh, so that's amazing. You know, uh, something, a side thing, I use one of my videos, a lot of people say, well, how do I know? Because, you know, the, the King James Version has had different uh, additions, you know, where they just change the spelling and things like that. But how do I know it's the, the traditional text King James? Well, uh, there's a couple things that you can see. One is uh, this, in the beginning God created the heaven, not heavens, and the earth. And also right here, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Spirit is capitalized. Another place you can see is in 2 Timothy, chapter 3, right here. And that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all the good works. Not thoroughly, but thoroughly in, completely in his spirit, heart, mind, soul, everything. Thoroughly. Um, him and so uh, we have that part uh, once again uh, if you have the Thompson you already know uh, what's about now I, I do want to point something out it's kind of interesting um, the when you look at it this way the gilding gilding is good when I turn it sideways let me set my mother hand when you turn it sideways I got some interesting but you can see where the signatures are so signatures are broke back. Now look some of my other uh, Kirk Bride, and some of them actually were starting to do that. So uh, a lot of people wouldn't like that. They want that all one seamless. And that's okay. I probably would prefer it, but I don't mind it at all. In fact, I'm pointing something out. When you get a, a church Bible publisher's Bible uh, with, uh, with how natural it is in the workmanship, they put this with their card. And I actually enjoy them putting it because you might have a, a scar here, a scar here, something might be but it's uniquely yours you can be confident in knowing that no one else possesses what is uniquely yours the natural process and characteristics that each one of our bibles entails uh makes them one of a kind we hope you enjoy what is uniquely manufactured for you so if you want a bible that's exactly the same way as every single person with no difference no uniqueness yet you're going to look for a mass produced bible that's not doesn't have natural materials um, but you're not going to get that. Um, and plus, you know, when you look at the, the only I looked at my other Thompson, well, most of all that's rubbed off anyway, so it's not going to matter at all. And so, but, you know, it is beautiful. Look at that. Anyway, uh, well, I'll let you know, uh, if you've never had a Thompson, I'm just going to give you an example. And a lot of people, you know, they do the Psalm 23. I like doing the Psalm 12 example. So, you know, you look at these, and I I've, was I've, showing this, uh, something like this, to a person in a bookstore, and they're like, oh, I can never get that. It's just too confusing. Um, you know, once you get into it, you realize it's not confusing. One of the awesome things about the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is that it follows the, the rule that the best commentary for scriptures are scriptures. I personally have a rule that all, all doctrine, that you, everything you believe about scripture is taken from scripture, Compared with other passages, uh, well, from Scripture, taken in context, compared with other passages of Scripture. It's a good rule to have. And so, let's go to uh, show you what this means. So, you have what they call pilot numbers. Pilot numbers, if you, real quick, if you look at the back of the Bible, you will see pilot numbers. There's one. There's some more. Okay. Okay. And you'll see pilot numbers. So what that means is you are going to have a chain. First, it have the, the word, maybe words from the scriptures. It might have a thought in the scriptures. And then it has the next place in scripture it's going to be as a pilot. So when you turn to the back of the Bible, you'll see either uh, just references of everything that this is talking about. Or you'll see the verses completely listed out. So it's one of the things about the Thompson that's really awesome. Uh, so let's just look at... Uh, you know, Psalm chapter 12, 6, and 7. The words of the Lord are pure words, a silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. So when you look over here, you know, you got some things you can see. You look up from Genesis all the way through Revelation. Uh, word of God, God's word pure, silver, seven times, divine keeper, preservation. Um, 
so it goes on. So let's just uh, look at God's word pure. So it has 435. It also has 1830. So 1830 lets me know in Psalm chapter 18, verse 30, there's going to be the next reference that that's at. There we go. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. And then you can look out the side. Look at that. God's word pure. Next spot, 198. So let's just look here. 19. Verse 8. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. And once again, over here, God's word pure, 434. Goes all the way to Psalm 119, verse uh, 140. Uh, going back here, though, so the pilot number, God's Word Pure, is 434. So in the back of your Thompson Change Reference Bible, and you, when you're reading the book of Revelation, sometimes people go, you're not Revelation. Because, like, here's the book of Revelation, and it stops right there. Look how much Bible you still have left. Well, not how much Bible, but how much of the Bible. Uh, because that's, that's all study material concordances and the pilot numbers. So let's look for 434. Also, here's the general index. So if you don't know what you're looking for, remember I was looking at God's Word Pure, and so I'm like, oh, I'm going to find out oh, God, God's Word Pure. I remember there was a pilot like that, but you don't remember, you know, exactly where it was. Uh, so let's see here, see if I can find it. Here it is. So if I look down here, God's Word, pure. Look what I found, pilot number 434. So that's your index to the chains. So here's your indexes. So let's look at, I'm almost there, right? 434. So right up here, purity of God's Word. Memory started in Psalm 12.6, went to Psalm 1830, 1918. We saw it went to 119, 140. And it would go on to Proverbs 30, verse 5, and Isaiah 45, 19. And then there's other uh, passages that correspond to, like God's Word. It goes further and further and further into God's Word. A lot of chain references for just God's Word. Um, and so that's how the, the pilot system works. And sometimes, you mentioned I say like that one just has the references. But some of them, like here, protection of the divine. And so the law of the Lord is perfect. It actually lists the verses out for you. And sometimes it might list extra references. So, once again, there's no bias in the Thompson chain reference as well. So, what that means is you're not going to have, and the commentaries and notes have doctrinal slants. Um, so, once again, let's look. you got general outline studies. You have chat, uh, charts, maps, messianic stars, that uh, goes... Like Christ, you got a, just so much. Um, you have summaries of each book of the Bible. Yeah. <clears throat> and also the book, uh, analysis of the books, character studies of people in the Bible. There's Solomon, King of Israel, the man of wisdom and, and folly. Uh, prominent Bible characters. I mean, it just goes on. Prophecies concerning Jesus Christ and their fulfillment. That's uh, one you could use for witnessing. It has a one on wor uh, Christian workers, illustration, tree of Moses' life. I mean, this is jam-packed. You have illustrations. I like over here. That's the, the journey. Journeys and principles, events in the life of Joshua. So over here, you'll have kind of uh, events and scriptures. And then you just like see number one. And then you look at the maps. And you'll see number one. It will correspond to this. And sometimes they have illustrations with those as well. You have an archaeological supplement back here, which is awesome because it proves that the Bible is true when you get into those. A great concordance. A beautiful concordance, I would say. Then you have uh, Atlas. Now, this is on cardstock, and a lot of people like the paper, and a lot of people like the card. I can go either way. But you have a very good, uh, just an Atlas to the, the maps. Then you have the maps themselves. Very colorful, very nice, very bright. And then you have some extra pages back here for extra notes. So that is the 
Church Bible Publishers, mid-sized Thompson Chain Reference Bible as uh, black, of course, and iron calfskin. Uh, one other thing of caution, if you're going to have an iron calfskin Bible, trim your nails. Um, because if you don't, if your nail grabs it, it will scratch. Um, and, well, if you scratch it, you made it, well, more unique than yours. <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks for watching. God bless. Go to the website, churchbiblepublishers.com. Check out their Bibles. I want to get one of this one. Beautiful Bible. God bless.